Now this is quite an unusual book for the period in which it was published and in a way we're quite grateful that all these years later people like this publish books like this because it gives an insight into a kind of snapshot in a period in time. This is by Adam Kraft called Gross Deutschland Die Stadt published in 1940 in Germany obviously it's roughly translates as Greater Germany the cities so it's basically a photo album of the cities in Germany. What's unique about this book is even if it was published in 1940 all of the photographs in the book were actually photographed in 1940 specifically for the book they're not archive pictures so it gives a snapshot of Germany as it was in 1940 and there's kind of a mixture if it, it's no good if you're into military stuff at all there's nothing military in it at all there's some ministry buildings but no army scenes it's a handy book if you're into kind of pre-war German architecture because it gives a good cross-reference of what the buildings were like in Germany in a specific year because obviously a few years after this book was published a lot of it was bomb flat so it gives a little kind of keyhole look into a period of Germany um, it's a mixture of the traditional old Teutonic style buildings from like 1700s but you can see in the book in 1940 that there's the Nazi party art deco style items are starting to leach in and it is a really really good publication numerous um, covers and binders exist of this book from the cheap version to the luxury version because it was produced with every good German in mind if you were a good German you went out and bought one and um, this particular one is a luxury version because it's got the cloth cover on the on the boards and it's got like deeply recessed letters unusual thing about the book it was produced in 1940 Germany was already at war and yet for some reason all of the uh, pictures are not only captioned in German but also captioned in English Spanish and French and another language which I can't remember so presumably they were looking to export it but in 1940 that would have been impossible this particular item was souvenired in Hanover in 1945 by a flight lieutenant in the RAF really good book so we'll have a flick through it and they are quite commonly found a lot of them do seem to have been souvenired so it's a handy little book if you're into more the kind of German architecture rather than the German military scene as it was in Nazi Germany at the time because come 1945 I would imagine 99% of the photographs of the buildings in this book the buildings didn't exist particularly Dresden it's interesting to see how Dresden was to how it is now and some of the German ministry buildings and things like that so we'll take a look through it anyway so for the period it's a really good quality bound book in this cloth binding Germany the states or the, the cities of Germany by Adam Kraft and you've got Flight Lieutenant NT Forjax RAF Hanover 1945 and you've got all this German script writing which kind of illustrates what it's about and then as you can see in the year 1940 Adam Kraft a lot of its colour, a lot of its not, so you've got Danzig various aspects of Danzig Konigsberg Memel through Popine, Breslau, you've got, I bet that's not there anymore, you have the town hall at Gorlitz and as well as the clock you've got the kind of Nazi emblem above the clock and this is what I mean you've got it in German then you've got it in British Spanish, French and 
Italian? Italian, yeah. And we've got the admin building and chemical works. Which I suppose for a book published in 1940 would be kind of a risky photograph. Because I'm sure you wouldn't have got that in 1940 British publication. Strasbourg. Eager. Old Street near Castle. The banners are out. And you've got... Iglau, Jerglau, something like that. Again, you've got all the little Nazi banners and flags at every window. Vienna. Salzburg. Stuttgart Heidelberg Mannerheim Darmstadt Worms Weisbaden Trier Aachen Blends, Dusseldorf, and again there's the the main office of finances in Dusseldorf. And you have the Nazi eagles and swastikas on the huge plinths. Munster, Osnabrück, Göttingen, Paderborn, Erfurt, Würzburg, Nürnberg, Adolf Hitler Square, Nürnberg, Munchen, the Eternal Guard in Munich, the Royal Square, Munich, Munich again, Augsburg. If I remember right, there's some of Berlin in here as well. We have Berlin. Berlin. Court of Honour in Reich's Chancellery. Oh, what a fantastic building that must have been. I mean, I've seen plans and photographs of it, so that must have been an impressive place because it was built to impress foreign politicians. Everything was made deliberately in a large size to look imposing. So that's the court of honour in the Reich Chancellery. Monument of Frederick the, Gate, the Great, went to Del Linden, Berlin. And you have these ones as well. Sanctuary, went to Del Linden, Berlin. Then you have the, the Brandenburg door, as the Germans called it. Schinkel Square, Berlin, Castle Berlin, Potsdam, <coughs> Frankfurt, again, Town Hall at Frankfurt, so 
So there's no military related photographs in it at all. It's Freiburg, Freiburg. That's the miners singing in front of Town Hall at Zwicklau. Leipzig. These are all the parts of Hildesheim. Hanover. Bremen. Hamburg Flensburg Kiel Lubeck Kohlberg So it is a really good publication for anybody interested in architecture, well, numerous, numerous versions of the cupboard actually exist. So that's published in 1940, Germany, the cities by Adam Kraft. 